Hey guys, I've got a new tutorial today and this is going to be all about creating a fixed sort of camera system. So if you imagine that this is in my game view right now and my camera is looking in this direction towards my player, obviously this is a first person controller. So um, nothing crazy is going on, all I've done is positioned my camera as you can see in my scene view my camera is positioned if I zoom in a little bit just floating in this corner just looking directly across to the first person controller and what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that when we play the game you'll notice it now that the camera doesn't track the player so we can move around and do whatever we want to do within your game but I want the, you know, the camera to be able to track what we're doing so if we get the player to come really close we can track that so really all it takes is a really simple script so all we're going to do is go create javascript and then we're going to say this call this camera track open up in mono develop and once you've opened mono develop what we'll do is delete those two f starting functions then we're going to say variable target as type transform with a semicolon then we're going to start by writing function update two brackets then two curly brackets below and then what we're going to say is transform dot look at open, open brackets vector 3 open the bracket again target dot position but unity auto corrects this every time target dot position dot x with a comma so what we need to do is make sure that target is lowercase like my variable name because unity seems to like to auto correct all my videos that I try and make we're going to paste that same one in again and then we're going to say target dot position dot y and then over at this side we'll say target dot position dot z and then delete that comma add two brackets to end it and add a semicolon so all this means is a vector 3 is um, directing the transform or any of the transform units that we can have to move the player around and all that needs is three values an x y and a z value but all we're doing is we're telling the we're going to be telling the camera to look at the position of whatever your target is so obviously our target is going to be the player so it's going to look at the x y and the z position and it's going to follow it based on that so what we'll do is we'll go back into unity we'll go onto our main camera we'll add the camera track and then once we've added it what we can do is we can add our first person controller to the target and then if we press play what we can see is the actual camera tracks the movement of the player no matter where we happen to go so wherever we go it'll track it as long as your position is moving obviously to a certain extent depending how far you go away maybe this can help you create something that's slightly less of the common FPS controller but it actually lets you create something a little bit more dynamic so as ever thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers